You are about to enter the home of the language genius. Please remember to leave your weapons outside the temple before entering. We appreciate your attention and the time you dedicate to us. We ask that before we begin, if possible, you close your eyes and breathe slowly and deeply. If this is not possible, your intention is necessary. Just breathe and allow yourself to oxygenate. Breathe. Bienvenido a Arcana. The number seven has multiple correspondences in different symbolic systems. It is related to the seven days of the week, the seven planets, the seven degrees of perfection, the seven celestial spheres or levels, the seven petals of the rose, the seven heads of the Naya of Artkor, and the seven branches of the cosmic and sacrificial tree in shamanism. It is representative of the cult of Apollo as the seventh day of the month was celebrated. The number seven is a natural number that represents the quantity of seven objects or units. It comes right after the number six and right before the number eight in the number sequence. Although it may seem like an ordinary number, the number seven holds great significance in many areas of mathematics, science, and culture. It is a prime number which means it is only divisible by itself in the number one. It is the fourth prime number in the number sequence following the numbers two, three, and five. Furthermore, the number seven is important in number theory because it can be expressed as the sum of three squares. It is considered a significant number in esotericism and has been the subject of study and contemplation by various mystical and philosophical traditions throughout history. This number is surrounded by an aura of mystery and is attributed with numerous deep meanings and symbolism. In Western culture, the number seven is associated with good luck and perfection due to its appearance in religion and mythology. Additionally, in Japanese culture, The number seven is considered an unlucky number because its pronunciation is similar to the word death in Japanese. In many ancient cultures, it was associated with perfection and wholeness as it was seen as a combination of the divine, represented by the number three, symbolizing the trinity, and the earthly, represented by the number four, symbolizing the four elements and the four cardinal points. This union of the divine and the earthly was considered a representation of balance and completeness. A Hindu tradition attributes seven rays to the sun, six correspond to the directions of space, and the seventh to the center. Similarly, the rainbow does not have seven colors but six. The seventh is white, the synthesis of the other six. In biology, The number seven represents the duration of a weekly cycle of human activity, which has been linked to the evolution of the human species. Additionally, in chemistry, the number seven is significant as it represents the number of elements in group seven of the periodic table, also known as the halogens. The seven colors of the rainbow and the seven notes of the diatonic scale reveal the presence of The number seven as a regulator of vibrations. These vibrations, considered essential in many primitive traditions, are fundamental to the manifestation of matter. In esotericism, the number is associated with hidden knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual awakening. It is believed to possess deep spiritual energy and is related to the quest for truth and the meaning of existence. In many esoteric traditions, It is considered a sacred number and is attributed with mystical properties and special powers. The number seven is key in the Gospel of St. John, where it appears in the seven weeks, the seven miracles, and the seven mentions of Christ as I am. It also appears forty times in the book of Revelation, manifesting in the septenaries of the seals, the trumpets, the cups, the visions, and other series of seven that structure the book. In tarot, the number seven is represented by the chariot card. This card symbolizes forward momentum, control of direction, and success after conscious effort. 
The chariot represents the will and determination to achieve goals and overcome obstacles. But it also suggests the need to balance action with intuition and inner wisdom. The pairs of major arcana cards in tarot, whose sum is seven, are also significant. The pair of the emperor and empress, representing the father and mother, embodies perfection in manifestation. The integration of temporal power in both its internal and external aspects. The harmony of the four elements. And the three principles of secret science. Conversely, the spiritual pair composed of the high priest and high priestess also adds up to seven. Five plus two. As for the seventh arcana, which is the expression of these two marriages, it is not surprising that it corresponds to the chariot. The sign of consummation, it is related to the planet Neptune, which symbolizes spirituality, intuition, and the world of dreams. It is also associated with the zodiac sign Pisces, which is connected to compassion, sensitivity, and the search for spiritual truth. The relationship between the number seven and alchemy is profound and significant. In alchemy, The number seven represents perfection and wholeness, as well as the culmination of a process of transformation. The number seven is mentioned seventy-seven times in the Old Testament. This number, due to the transformation it represents, possesses inherent power and is considered a magical number. In the account of the fall of Jericho, for example. It is mentioned that seven priests carrying seven trumpets had to march around the city for seven days, and finally, on the seventh day, they had to march around it seven times before the city fell. According to the alchemists, there are seven main stages in the alchemical transmutation process, known as the Great Work. These stages, also known as the Seven Hermetic Steps. Represent the path to perfection and the attainment of the philosopher's stone, which symbolizes spiritual transformation and the realization of the human being. Each of the stages of the great alchemical work is associated with one of the seven planets known in ancient times, which in turn correspond to the seven metals known in alchemy: Saturn, Lead, Jupiter, Tin, Mars, Iron, Sun. Gold, Venus, copper, Mercury, Mercury, and Moon, silver. These seven metals, along with the seven planets, represent different alchemical aspects and principles that must be transmuted and balanced to achieve alchemical perfection. The number seven is also related to the seven alchemical elements: mercury, sulfur, salt, air, fire, water. And Earth, which represent different forces and substances in the process of transformation, the number seven has an important mystical and symbolic meaning in the Catholic and Christian tradition. Throughout the Bible, the number seven repeatedly appears, both in events and symbols, and it is considered a sacred and divine number. The number seven universally symbolizes totality. But a totality in constant movement or total dynamism, it is the key to the apocalypse. Seven churches, seven stars, seven spirits of God, seven seals, seven trumpets, seven thunders, seven heads, seven plagues, seven cups, seven kings. Seven is the number associated with the Buddhic heavens. Avicenna also describes the seven archangels. Princes of the seven heavens, who are the seven watchers of Enoch and correspond to the seven Vedic rishis. In creation, it is said that God completed His work in seven days and sanctified the seventh day as a day of rest, known as the Sabbath or the Day of God. This institution of the seven-day cycle in the week is one of the foundations for the importance of the number seven in the Christian tradition. Furthermore. Numerous examples of seven are mentioned in the Bible, such as the seven sacraments, the seven words spoken by Jesus on the cross, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and the seven churches mentioned in the Book of Revelation.
These examples highlight the idea of perfection, fullness, and completeness associated with the number seven. It is also present in Christian rituals and celebrations, such as the seven sacraments that are considered channels of divine grace and the seven days of Holy Week, culminating in the resurrection of Jesus on Easter Sunday. It is related to the idea of spiritual perfection and is associated with concepts such as wholeness, fullness, and divine perfection. It is also symbolically used in the architecture of churches and cathedrals, where structural and decorative elements are often organized in groups of seven. In geometry, it represents the number of sides in a regular heptagon. The heptagon is a regular polygon that has seven equal sides and seven equal angles. Additionally, the number seven is important in trigonometry as it is used to represent the 45 degree angle. In sacred geometry, it is believed that geometric shapes and patterns have deep spiritual and symbolic meanings. And the number seven is present in many of these forms. The number seven universally symbolizes totality, but a totality in constant movement or total dynamism. It is the key to the apocalypse. Seven churches, seven stars, seven spirits of God, seven seals. Seven trumpets, seven thunders, seven heads, seven plagues, seven cups, seven kings. Seven is the number associated with the Buddhist heavens. Avicenna also describes the seven archangels, princes of the seven heavens, who are the seven watchers of Enoch and correspond to the seven Vedic rishis. In creation, it is said that God completed his work in seven days and sanctified the seventh day as a day of rest. Known as the Sabbath or the Day of God, this institution of the seven-day cycle in the week is one of the foundations for the importance of the number seven in the Christian tradition. Moreover, numerous examples of seven are mentioned in the Bible, such as the seven sacraments, the seven words spoken by Jesus on the cross, the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, and the seven churches mentioned in the book of Revelation. These examples highlight the idea of perfection, fullness, and completeness associated with the number seven. It is also present in Christian rituals and celebrations, such as the seven sacraments that are considered channels of divine grace and the seven days of Holy Week, culminating in the resurrection of Jesus on Easter Sunday. It is related to the idea of spiritual perfection and is associated with concepts such as totality, fullness, and divine perfection. Symbolically, it is also used in the architecture of churches and cathedrals, where structural and decorative elements are often organized in groups of seven. In geometry, it represents the number of sides in a regular heptagon. A heptagon is a regular polygon with seven equal sides and seven equal angles. Additionally, the number seven is important in trigonometry as it is used to represent the angle of 45 degrees. In sacred geometry, it is believed that geometric shapes and patterns hold deep spiritual and symbolic meanings. And the number seven is found in many of these forms. The number seven is frequently used in the Bible. For example, we find the seven-branched menorah, the seven spirits resting on the staff of Jesse, the seven heavens inhabited by angelic orders, and Solomon building the temple in seven years. This number is also represented, along with the center, in the hexagram, seal of Solomon. The week consists of six active days plus a day of rest, represented by the center. The hexagram has six angles, six sides, or six star arms, and the center plays the role of a seventh point. The six directions of space have a midpoint or center that gives rise to the number seven. Seven symbolizes the totality of space and time, by associating it with the number four, which symbolizes the earth with its four cardinal points, and the number three, which symbolizes the sky. Seven represents the totality of the moving universe. In literature and film, 
The number seven has also been used in different contexts. For example, in the Harry Potter book series, the number seven is significant because there are seven books in the series. And each book represents a year in the life of the main character. In Akira Kurosawa's film, Seven Samurai, the number seven represents the number of warriors hired to protect a village from bandits. Perhaps the heptagon is not a figure that is very present in your life. But have you ever stopped to count how many things are constituted or integrated by seven elements? If you pay attention, you will find the necessary vertices to find the answer. If you enjoy the information in this podcast, we ask that you recommend and subscribe to any of our channels and social media platforms, which we will leave in the description box. If tarot is what you like, this podcast is for you. From what you hear, take what serves you. Arcana.